Hello everyone, how's it going today? So this is the 3rd of December 2020 and this is on Thursday. So this is on live right now, so let's get started. I will be looking at a couple of pairs today in the market and see what's happening right there. So alright. So um, yeah, before starting here, just a quick disclaimer. This information is basically based on my experience and knowledge. So when you take tries, please do, with your own risk. So finally, we have some trends. Um, this week, uh, from Tuesday and Wednesday, we have some trends on the major pairs and the forex pairs. So, and currently, I found a couple of other pairs actually that are still trending. So let's check these ones based on the Ichimoku Kinko Hyo today. So for those who are new to my channel, my name is Kei and I am a Japanese Forex full-time trader here in based in Tokyo, Japan. And on my YouTube channel, I mainly talk about uh, my strategy based on the Ichimoku Kinko Hyo. And also I ac actually talk about uh, the deep analysis by Ichimoku Kinko Hyo on these forex pairs. Uh, because I have been studying Ichimoku for the last five years and I have been um, taking trades with Ichimoku for the last five years. And um, Ichimoku has been um, actually my main um, strategy. So to me, Ichimoku is to capture the bigger picture in the market based on the daily chart or flower chart uh, or above charts, I use Ichimoku to capture bigger uh, picture of the market. So I have studied Ichimoku from these original books in Japanese. Of course, these are only available in Japanese because of the copyright. But um, I share the knowledge here on the YouTube channel as much as possible. So hopefully you enjoy my uh, Ichimoku lecture today. So every Tuesdays and Thursdays, I focus on the Ichimoku analysis and every Wednesdays and Fridays, I more of talk about my own strategy, multiple time frames and also where to buy, where to sell and the stop loss, break even and uh, position size and everything. I talk about these on Wednesdays and Fridays. So today is Thursday. So the topic for today is overall market situation on higher time frames and how to capture the overall view of the market. So, so here is a AUD USD, and this is uptrending right now. Simply because the Ichimoku, if you see these five lines of Ichimoku, you see that the Kumo is moving up right now. Um, uh, most specifically, you can see that the Senko Span B is up, A is up right now. So for those who are new to Ichimoku Kinko Hyo, Ichimoku is actually uh, has uh, five lines altogether, and two lines are actually composed of the Kumo here. And when you see this up Kumo here, the lower part is called Senko Span B, and the upper part is called Senko Span A. So when you look at the Kumo, um, you better focus on this uh, thickness of the Kumo here. You can see that the Kumo is roughly thick here. Uh, before that, prior to the Kumo right now, uh, it was a little bit thin, like here. But now, and also, yeah, previously, even previous here, the Kumo was thin and also it was flat the whole time. So when you see flat Kumo and thin Kumo like this, that's when the market was ranging over time. And after the market started to go up this way, that's when the Kumo actually goes bullish. And right now, this is by the way 4-hour chart, 4-hour chart of um, AUDUSD and um, the Kumo Senko Span B is up lower part and also Senko Span A is also uptrending on this upper part of the Kumo here. Both are moving up the angle and also I can see the thickness of the Kumo here. This is relatively more thicker than the previous Kumo which shows this is a stable uptrend right now. So in this case, I expect the market continue to go bullish. I mean, on this uh, bullish trend, bullish in the wave, I expect the market to go up all the way, like this way. 
So that's the overall analysis based on the Kumo right here. And also in Ichimoku, there are three other lines. One is called the Kijun Sen. In my chart color setting, the Kijun Sen is shown on the green line. This is Kijun Sen. I just put K here, just my name K. And um, the blue one is called Tenkan Sen. I just put T here. And Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen are the backbone of Ichimoku because originally Ichimoku Kinko Hyo was only shown the Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen in original book. And later on, uh, Goichi Hosoda added the Kumo and Chikou Span. So, but originally there were only Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen on Ichimoku Kinko Hyo. So, Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen are actually the backbones of uh, the Ichimoku system and that's why Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen in that sense are actually the most important lines among these five lines. So when you see Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen here, if I can zoom in a bit more, you can see that the um, they twisted bullish over here. Let me cancel the candlestick so I think it's easier, more um, cleaner to see here. So. You see overlap well, with the Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen here, and after the overlap, it separated. Right, they separate. The Tenkan Sen came above the Kijun Sen. So this is in definition a gold cross of Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen. Um, sometimes because of its calculation, they overlap completely, and we don't call it call it uh, the gold cross yet. But exactly after they separate with the cross in definition. So in that sense, the gold cross happened not exactly where the overlap. I mean more precisely, I put the vertical line here, but not exactly when the overlap was not the gold cross, but actually the, when they separate, over here was the gold cross. So from here, the Tenkan Sen came above the Kijun Sen and still bullish trend. So let me delete the fake gold cross and let me put the candlestick back on the chart and you can see that exactly from this candlestick the market has been moving up after this gold cross of uh, Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen and this is also important if you interpret the market by Ichimoku here and this is also um, another uh, confirmation that this is bullish trend right now on this 4 hour chart and uh, what else and uh, yeah so what's more um, if you look at these angles of this Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen both are moving up right now which also shows that this is a strong uptrend right now so um, yeah in that sense too this is also bullish and I, this is actually my favorite uh, signal, is that the, uh, you know, Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen gold cross above the Kumo has a um, relatively higher probability for the market to go up than it happens below the Kumo. So when you see gold cross above the Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen, I mean above the Kumo gold cross, or when you see dead cross of Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen below the Kumo, I would say that these are the strong buying edge or selling edge as a bigger scope so that's another thing about uh, this uh, AUD USD that I think is very important on this 4 hour chart and finally um, I would like to elaborate this uh, Chikou Span so Chikou Span is actually shifted 20 candles to the back from the current forming candle it's backwards 26 candles and you see the Chikou Span so this is it takes the close price and actually so that so that means this is like a line chart but it just shifted 26 candles to the backwards including current forming candlestick so Chikou Span actually shows the momentum of the market so when you see Chikou Span above the candles simply that means this is bullish momentum so right now, that's exactly what's happening also. So that's why overall, as soon as I see this kind of market, then I look for the buy chance. 
So that's the overall situation for this AUD USD chart. So um, yeah, I think this is a basic, but I think it's very important to uh, to talk about this one, uh, the basic concept of Ichimoku fiber lines. And what's more here, what is more interesting here is that the uh, I can see that there is an inside bar breakout uh, exactly after this gold cross of Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen. On this candlestick, if I plot the highest price and lowest price of this candlestick, the, the highest price will be over here, 0 0.7420 price level. And the low of this candle, the low week, was the um, 0.79. Sorry, 0 0.7391 level. And after this uh, candlestick, uh, there were two candlesticks being completely engulfed by this uh, candlestick, and now it's breaking upwards this way. So together with these five lines of a bullish trend, I can see that there is also engulfing breakout, inside bar breakout, which also show that this is a significant uptrend, the beginning of the significant uptrend. So, and this is exactly where I look for the buy chance in this kind of situation. I will never look for the sell chance. So, um, yeah, I think uh, it's quite a uh, interesting setup to look for buy in this AUD USD. So that's the first topic that I wanted to talk about today. So let me see who's here. Let me just hi, just say hi to everyone here. Uh, Jagdish, thank you for joining. Good to see you, and um, it's been a while. Thank you for joining. And James, Lawrence, Luke, Vincent, Arkady, um, Reclos, thank you for joining. All right, Sarah, uh, uh, Karim, Owen, and uh, Kuran, WM, Munalula, thank you for joining as well. Jack Smith, Stavros, um, Flavio, and Henry, Tolga, thank you for joining. Uh, Bibato and Aditya, thank you for joining as well. Good to see you. So, um, so yeah, yeah, let's see. All right, let me go through a couple of uh, comments here. Oh, so I already exited the Euro JPY. Yep, I already exited. I uploaded the video yesterday that I took a buy on Euro JPY, and before I go to bed, I actually exited the Euro JPY yesterday, last night, because um, I saw the flower chart was flat, so I already exited the Euro JPY. So let me focus on the bigger picture today by Ichimoku Five Lines. So. Let's check the daily chart on the uh, AUD USD. So here AUD USD daily chart, and this also shows that this is a bullish up uptrend. Simply because you can see that the Kumo is moving up. You see um, the lower part is called Senko Span B, upper part is called Senko Span A, when it's the bullish Kumo, and both are actually moving up right now. And Kumo is not too thin, and this is not too young. Um, I can see that the Kumo is developing uptrend. So in a daily chart, this is also uptrending, and also Kijun Sen is up, and Tenkan Sen is also up. Chikou Span also above the candles. So in a daily chart, also this is a strong uptrend, I would say. So right now the market is forming this uh, bullish in wave. The market is forming this bullish in wave, so I expect the market to continue to go up this way. As long as Kumo up, Kijun Sen up, and Chikou Span above the candles, I expect the market to go up on this bullish in wave like this. So I would still look for the buy chance in this case. So I will just put the flag AUDUSD, as a red because this is um, strong uptrend right now. So make sure that you understand the concept of the five lines of Ichimoku and be able to read the chart whether this is uptrending, downtrending or no trend in the market. 
Oh, uh, Korea says, um, your Ichimoku videos show things that I did not see before about the Ichimoku. Thanks a lot. I see you use Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen, not in terms of signal. Um, yeah, so I think it's, uh, it's a definition of a signal. Uh, when I talk about the signal, my understanding of signal, or Ichimoku's understanding of signal, I think it's completely different from like gold cross, dead cross of, uh, for example, like a moving average or these other indicators. Uh, the concept of Ichimoku is actually n to not to predict the future market, but it's actually to see the um, market as of now. Because we're not here to predict the future, because we can't. So, um, yeah, if you know the current situation in the market, then you can actually take trades according to that direction. So if you look, if you see that this is bullish trend, then basically you look for buy chance simply so one thing that we have to make sure is that you know there is no recent high level on this price on this current price of um, 0.7434 area so let me go back the chart a little bit and see if there is any recent high level at this point and I can see that uh, there is no recent high even going all the way back to like um, yeah, like a second or I think this is the, um, yeah, like a 10th of August or 13th of August 2018, there was a recent high. But after that, there was no high. It actually renewed higher and higher now. After uh, the market broke this uh, recent high on this uh, 1st of September this year, the market is still going up. So... In this case too, I can still expect that the market continue to go up this way. So that's the prim primary uh, condition of the market on AUDUSD currently. Alright, thank you for joining. Good to see you everyone. So this is a live stream right now. So it's not a recorded video. Uh, John says, what do you think about Bitcoin? Um, I don't, I haven't seen the Bitcoin for a while right now. So, and I don't take cryptocurrency trace. So, um, yeah, let me check that one real quick later. But let me just focus on the Forex pairs for now. Um, all right, uh, Bibato says, uh, hi, Mr. K, when we draw support resistance, lines with stat static um, static line without Ichimoku there is not the same when the draw support resistance with Ichimoku Y um, you mean Ichimoku meaning like the uh, Chikou span or the Kumo yeah technically you can draw the support resistance lines according to the Kumo single span B or um, Chikou span but actually they are not the candlesticks actually there are actually well Ichimoku Kumo takes the Hanne line, the mid price for the last uh, 52 candles, and also Chikou Span takes the close price, and that's why it is a little bit different from the candlesticks highs and lows. Um, okay, Aditya says, Hi Mr. K, why isn't the gold cross above the Kumo on the trading edge list? A gold cross above the Kumo is a potential uptrend continuously. And that's why I value it a lot. So in this case, AUDUSD, um, you can see the gold cross of um, uh, Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen exactly on this candlestick. Let me put the vertical line again. So you see that uh, when, the, when they separate, that's when the gold cross happens. So exactly. On this candlestick, there was a gold cross of Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen. However, in this case, uh, this was happening in the Kumo. So I don't really trust this gold cross. Well, after this gold cross, the market happened to be uptrending. So, but instead of taking this gold cross, I would look for other confirmations to buy. Because the gold cross in the Kumo can be fake. Um, so I look for the gold cross above the Kumo and 
yeah, based on my experience, it's been quite strong uptrend. So here are two. Um, if you look back in the chart on this uh, 10th of July, on this AUD USD, there was another gold cross happening exactly on this candlestick. And this time, this was happening above the Kumo, obviously. So this will be the buy. I mean, I will look at the lower time frames, of course, to look for the trading edge to buy somewhere on these days. Because there was a gold cross above the Kumo here on the daily chart. So, yeah, it's my favorite actually. It's one of my favorite setup of the Ichimoku. So, if and if I miss this gold cross to buy somewhere here, then the next thing that I will be looking for is the gold cross of uh, Chikou Span. Uh, Chikou Span gold crossed the candlestick and moved upwards. Chikou Span break happened, and that was exactly happening exactly on these candles. And that was another buying point. That would be another buying edge. So once again, I look at the lower time frames in this area and I look for where to buy. And then the market I expect the market go bullish on this bullish in the wave continuously like this way. So um Yeah, yeah. All right, Roger, thank you for joining, and Blackwater, Grace, Nicolet, and Billy, thank you for joining as well, good to see you. All right, all right, good to see you, Mohammed, thank you for joining. So, um, yeah, Ichimoku is very powerful, very powerful. Ichimoku is actually my best favorite indicator among all these. Because I only use Ichimoku to see the market situation on higher time frames. Uh, when it comes to lower time frames, like 5 or 50 minute chart, I use different tools and indicators like Bollinger Bands or Stochastics or Lines. Because uh, Ichimoku is a little bit too lagging on these lower time frames. And originally, Ichimoku was created to capture the daily chart trend. So that's why I use. Uh, I respect Goichi Hosoda and I use Ichimoku on only higher time frames and it's been working great on these higher time frames and that's why um, I use them only on the 4 hour chart or daily chart or 1 hour chart above I use it so um, yeah and after the market goes up this way the market uh, you know the Ichimoku shows that there's, there's a dead cross of Tenkan Kijun Sen and then Chikospan break happens, and then afterwards there was a Kumo breakout. This is the end of the uptrend on the long term. So this Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen shows that this is the end of the uptrend in a short mid term. Chikospan break shows that the momentum of the market itself is now turning bearish. And then after we see the Kumo breakout, that means that this is the uh, the end of the bullish trend in the long term. This is the end of the end of the uptrend in the long term. So sometimes, you know, I get emails and comments and says, uh, "Okay, Kumo breakout will be the sell, right?" As a signal, or Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen dead cross can be the sell signal. And my answer is actually no, because this only shows that this is the end of the uptrend in the short to mid term and long term. As per these original books, it says like that. So, yeah, it is important to be able to interpret the market with the correct understanding on anything that you use. So, so that means after this market, after this common breakout, the market loses its momentum for bullish. So now it's either going to be range, or it's gonna go down, or it's gonna go up. And we, d we don't know which way the market is going to go. It's a question mark when you see this Kumo breakout. Exactly here. Maybe it's going to go up, it's going to go range or down, and we don't know which way it's going. So until we see the decent downtrend confirmation, we better wait. Or uptrend confirmation, we better wait. And that's what this uh, Kumo breakout means. So I think the explanation is a bit different uh, as per signals, 
But、um, this is the way how Ichimoku was presented. And it helps a lot. Because、um, after the Kuma breakout, you stop looking for buy chance or you stop looking for sell chance. You just stop and rethink about the market and whether to.、Uh, you, just, you basically look for, wait for another trending market. So let's say after the Kuma break,、uh, when I start to see this bearish in wave, that will be a sell chance. So, in this case, there was a recent low break, or it was kind of supported by this low. So, I wouldn't say that this is a reverse in wave. But once I start to see after this、uh, potential reverse in wave, once I start to see the close, close price will be breaking the low clearly, and after the pullback, then that will be a great sell chance for me. Or,、um, in this case, the market. Kept going up this way after this, it became bullish in the wave. And after bullish in the wave, we, see, we also see that the,、uh, the Kumo twist bullish. We see Kumo twist bullish, and then、um, Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen both pointing up, and Chikou Span comes above the Kumo or in the,、uh, and also the candlestick. So, this is roughly when I start to look for the buy chance. But in between the Tenkan Sen, Kyun Sen, Gold Cross here, and also after the Kumo breakout, this is where I won't look for any buy or sell chance. So this is no trend. This is, there is no trace in this, in this、uh, area between the 15th of October until the 13th of November. I won't look for buy chance as per the daily chart analysis. But once it starts to be bearish, like on this bearish in the wave, then I would have been looking for the sell chance afterwards. If it happens, really. Yep, make the trend your friend. Exactly. That's it. That's it. All right,、uh, oh, Jagadish's、uh, analysis based on Ichimoku for gold last week、uh, really helped for a good profit. Still learning based on the patience, always a student. Sure, sure. Yep. So, yeah, what's happening in gold is kind of interesting right now. I haven't taken trades any gold trades yet、uh, this week, but I'm still looking for some chance on gold. So, um,. Yeah, hi Mohammed, Nikolai. Yep, to see you, Tolga says, Can you look at the AUDJPY? I bought it yesterday and I still keep it. So, how is the AUDJPY daily chart look like right now? Is my question. Is it still bullish or is it ranging now? If the market is still above the Kijun Sen and the Kumo, that's bullish. You don't really have to care about the Tenkan Sen break because Tenkan Sen break can happen soon after. The bullish trend. So, in this case, it was kind of supported by this Tenkan Sen in this area. And afterwards, the market continues to go up this way, supported by this Tenkan Sen one more time and goes up continuously. But one,、uh, the market might break the Tenkan Sen downwards, but you don't have to really worry about it. But you have to stop looking for buy exactly when the market breaks. The Kijun Sen downwards. That's when you want to stop looking for buy. Because in that case, the market might come back to the Senko Span A or B. So, Kijun Sen break of the price is very important. But、um, Tenkan Sen break can happen soon. So, yeah, make sure that the price is above. The Kijun Sen and the Kumo, and also Chikou Span above the candles, then that should be bullish trend, technically. Okay,、um, John says,、uh, What do you think of USDJPY on the one hour chart? So it's always better to look at the daily chart first if you want to use Ichimoku, and then break it down to lower time frames. So 
how is the situation in UTC-JPY on daily chart is my question. And you can take trades based on the daily chart or you can take the 4-hour chart, either daily or 4 trends is my recommendation if you want to use Ichimoku to get the bigger picture of the market. All right, Josiah, you're welcome. He says, I have really learned a lot from your lecture and seeing the Ichimoku in the brighter light. God bless you plenty. Thank you for the words. Thank you for the words. Yeah, I hope you um, liked you like my uh, lecture videos on my YouTube channel because I'm willing to share my knowledge from these original books of uh, Ichimoku and also purely based on my experience. Um, I never actually learned Ichimoku from someone. This is actually purely based on my experience and knowledge for the last seven years of my trade experience. So, um, yeah, I, I think it was, um, yeah, it was exactly like uh, last year when I uploaded the five parts of Ichimoku, part one to five basic Ichimoku lectures on, I think that was last October. I never expected that that many traders were interested in the Ichimoku lecture. So that was a big surprise for me, actually. Um, to be honest, I never learned Ichimoku in English. I only learned Ichimoku by Japanese, including these original books. And also, I never watched these uh, Ichimoku lectures in English. So, um, yeah, that was actually something surprising for me that the, uh, you know, I, I thought I didn't really expect that that many traders were interested in Ichimoku. So now, it's my privilege actually, it's my privilege and it's my honor to share my experience and share the knowledge of Ichimoku through my experience. So I hope you learn something new on my YouTube channel and that will be my hope. Hello Jack Smith, you're welcome. Um, Mojitaba, thank you for the words. Okay, um, Iksan says, um, how to know there is an uh, inter interpreted market by big player uh, from perspective Ichimoku? Can you give example? Um, I don't, first of all, I don't really care about the big players because I only take trades where there are any trends. When it's not a trend, then I won't take trades. Even if I take a buy, and if it goes backwards against my direction, then I just got lost. With a 2%, 1% risk, I just got lost. So I don't really care about the big player, or I would just follow the big player's direction. And that's how I actually run profit every month. So, yeah. Yeah, oh, okay, so looks like there's a doji candle forming right now on AUDUC daily chart. So, but still, uh, after the candle close, we have uh, more than 12 hours. So, let's see how the candle close is, gonna, is going to be, which is also important here. So, yeah, yeah. Wait for the candle close is actually under a keyword, which is very important. So yeah, coming back to like big players, I don't really care about these. Um, sometimes, you know, uh, people say that the market is manipulated, so we cannot do anything about the market. But um, I don't really care about the manipulations either, because um, maybe, yeah, maybe the market might be manipulated, and uh, they are actually hunting the stops. Maybe that's true. But if you know the decent money management, risk management strategies, then you should be fine. It's my opinion. So um, let's see. Hello, Yatav. Thank you for joining. Okay, Tolga, it's bullish, all right? The AUDJPY bullish. So you can keep keep holding that buy until as long as it goes bullish. Yeah, we talk deeper. After the public live, we're gonna have a Ichimoku membership live uh, in about like uh, 25 minutes, so we can talk about it. 
Today is going to be a chapter 6 review uh, from uh, Ichimoku Basic Theories book, so it's going to be about the price theory. So we'll talk deeper about that later. Alright, um, okay, Yatab says, um, K, you have been uh, fabulous and you have taken my trace to higher level. Thanks a lot. Alright, Yatab, you're welcome. You're welcome. And he says, uh, I only struggle with j Japanese words for now, but I, w I should perfect it uh, by and by. Okay. <laughs> yeah, um, you don't have to know all these Japanese language um, if you want to study Ichimoku. Of course, this is written purely in Japanese, and also the words are kind of kind of old style, I would say. Um, so um, yeah, sometimes I need time to figure out what he's trying to say, and also the way he presents Ichimoku is kind of indirect. He doesn't really talk about the signals. He doesn't really talk about where to buy, where to sell, um, what kind of setup to wait for. He doesn't really talk about that, but instead he talks more about like how to you know analyze market by these five lines uh, to to be able to you know analyze the market correctly correctly right now. So that's the focus on these origin books. So and that's actually something that I was fascinated a lot because most of the lectures of the moving average Bollinger bands or stochastics cross on anything MACD RSI uh, you, you name it right. But all these Almost all these like uh, in analysis is purely focused on where to buy, where to sell. And I was like that too. When I was a newbie, for the first two years, my only question was where to buy, where to sell. Who gives the right signal? You know, who, who, uh, which indicator actually gives me the right signal? And that was my focus. But actually, it was the Ichimoku that actually broke my mindset like that. Ichimoku says, surrender to the market. Right, never predict the future. Um, just analyze the market as, as it is right now. Know the presence of the market, and then it should be fine. He says like that, and I was like, "What the heck is he talking about?" Right? <laughs> because I'm looking for where to buy, where to buy, where to sell. That my purpose. So I bought the book, and I read through, and he doesn't really talk about it. So I was kind of disappointed in the beginning, but later on, as I you know, keep trading, trading uh, for for the two years of uh, struggle. I was able to gradually catch the concept of re what he really wanted to try to say. So, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> I think I will talk about it uh, in other occasion. But um, yeah, that's how I I'm into Ichimoku now. So sometimes the way I present Ichimoku might not really direct in terms of the trading signals but that that's because how the Ichimoku origin book was presented and I respect the origin book I don't really want to talk about where to buy where to sell and so that you can have a correct understanding correct um, understanding with the correct background of Ichimoku and that's why I try to present Ichimoku that way so yeah, I hope I hope um, you, you get the idea. Of course, I talk about where to buy, where to sell, based on my strategy KTS, because uh, KTS is actually my own strategy, and that's why I uh, break it down into different time frames, multiple time frames, and I exactly talk about where to buy, where to take trades on lower time frames, five or fifteen minute chart. But Ichimoku is not like that. Ichimoku is to capture the bigger picture of the market, as I say, and Ichimoku is more of like a, you know, grasp the concept of the whole market situation. <clears throat> even the way even um, time and price theories, actually these are not to predict the future, so it's kind of a, it's kind of a kind of itchy feeling for me, like a struggle. As as a as um as um like an explainer as um I won't say teacher but as a explainer of Ichimoku, it's kind of a struggle for me. How do I present Ichimoku in a way that people can understand is my challenge. But I hope you enjoy my challenge <laughs> in that sense. So, anyways, uh, let's come back to the topic for now. <clears throat> 
Um, oh, Grace, thank you for the words. Yeah. Very informative. Thank you. All right, David says, a great analysis. Many thanks. You're welcome too. Okay, Ram says, uh, sir, it's great that we can meet you live. Could you please tell us steps 1 to 3 to 5 to consider while trending, uh, trading with Ichimoku? Step 1, time frame. Step 2, Kumo should be this way. Step 3, uh, uh, Tenkan Sen should be. Um, yeah, yeah. So I think um, from next year, I will be try to be more practical on these Ichimoku lectures. And also, I'm thinking to talk about the combination of Ichimoku with other indicators or the price theory. I mean, the, uh, the candlestick patterns, the chart patterns with the Ichimoku is actually very important. So I will try to combine Ichimoku five line theory with all these other, you know, supplementary like uh, information strategies so that ultimately you can have a more better understanding of Ichimoku as a whole. So. Yeah, actually, Gochi Hosoda uh, takes this, um, what we call Sakata Goho uh, in Japanese. Sakata Goho is like the uh, typical five, um, like a formation of the market, like a head and shoulders, double top, double bottom, or like a thrust up and down. All these are actually called uh, Sakata Goho in Japanese. And Goichi Hosoda actually studied Sakata Goho after he pre prevented, uh, after he invented the Ichimoku five lines, and he he saw uh, significant correlations in between the candlestick patterns and Ichimoku five lines. So I think that's gonna be a topic for next year. So this year has been purely Ichimoku, and also briefly showing my strategies based on the KTS. So next year onwards, I will be keep talking and talking about these uh, different angles of this uh, Ichimoku. So um, yeah, Marcus says um, this is different topic. But are there any other famous Japanese traders aside from BNF and CIS? Oh yeah, there are lots of lots of other other famous traders here in Japan. Yeah, I am thinking to uh, thinking to introduce some other uh, good traders in Japan. So maybe on Saturdays. When I do the lives on the uh, about uh, psychology, money, money management, or different topics, I will I might be presenting some other, um, yeah, traders here in Japan. Yeah, I think it's kind of uh, interesting to see how Japanese traders are fundamentally, and also how um, because yeah, and how they are actually you know running these profits over time building these assets over time in a way that I think is kind of unique from uh, other uh, other uh, countries. And I think the information is rare. Even BNF and CIS, I found that, that, that the information in English is kind of rare. So I have actually lots of other things that I want to talk about BNF and CIS. So that will be actually my project to next year. Yeah, there are actually conversation between BNF and CS, which I would also like to share. So that's coming up next year sometime. Oh, Yoron, thank you for joining. To see you. Yeah. You're welcome. And Maria, thank you for joining as well. To see you, FM. And Josie, thank you for joining as well. Glad to have you here as always. Thank you for joining. Uh, Yatabu says, you're the only one that helps me con uh, con confidence in the market so far and the only one that confirmed Euro USD will be bullish this week based on the engulfing candle of previous week. I nailed huge pips. Oh, that's great. That's great. I didn't have a chance to take trades on this Euro USD. I said that it's going to be bullish, but I didn't take any trades. So that's kind of irony. But yeah, I'm glad that you are actually building more confidence. And that's actually more important than just, you know, giving you the fish. I'm here to actually teach you how to fish because it's going to be lifetime skill for sure. Hello, Tai. Thank you for joining. All right. And uh, Mandisa, thank you for joining. Good morning. Good to see you here. 
And Ram says, Excellent sir, thanks for the great explanation. Looking forward to more learnings. Sure, sure. So, alright, looks like it's time to go now. So, um, yeah, I will be ending the live for now. So, I hope you liked today's lecture and tomorrow I will be presenting some other information, some other, some of my strategy, my own strategy, uh, including Ichimoku and tomorrow's Friday's live stream. It's going to be about case trading strategy. So, if you're new to my channel, I have the, uh, the PDF, free PDF uh, that is available to anyone. So when you come to my website and come to this uh, free download and click on this KTS uh, case trading strategy, click on this one, then you can find the download link here. And also you can uh, watch the video of my own strategy. So please enjoy the content as well as I will be talking about it tomorrow. So, for those who are joining public, thank you for joining, and I will see you tomorrow. And for those who are Ichimoku members, there will be Ichimoku membership live in about 15 minutes, so I will see you soon. Today is going to be about the chapter 6 of Ichimoku Basic Theories, which covers the price theory. So, I will see you soon. So, until I see you next time, uh, please stay healthy and stay gold. Bye for now. Matane. Thank you.